Hello everybody, welcome to Simulator Fan News with me, Mrs. Sim Gamer. Now this is a little bit different. This isn't technically simulation, but it is base building and crafting, which I I genuinely like these types of games. This game came on to my um into my radar mainly because I follow Paradox Interactive. I have quite a few of their games, but also it's going to have a online co-op and I'm always looking for really great games to play with my sister. So this came onto my radar. I've been following it for a while and they have released a new update recently. So I thought we would check it out together. So this game is called Foundry. It's out on the 2nd of May this year, so not long to wait at all. And it is a game where you build a factory optimised to perfection or an artistic masterpiece in an infinite vo um, voxel world, voxel, <laughs> mine and harvest resources, automate your ever-growing production lines and manage complex systems whilst researching your way to mechanical mastery in Foundry. Now, although it doesn't say it's a simulator game like popular tags here, I would put this in the simulator type realm um, with crafting is always a good thing. Anyway, I love a bit of crafting, me. Now, let's just take a look at the game itself i think this would be a good place to start So that gives you a little bit of a preview um, of the game itself. Now, as far as I could see this being really good as a multiplayer game, like building your own world, uh, whether I will play it or not, I'm not sure. I haven't decided yet. I'm going to watch it a little bit more, um, but I, it's definitely worth highlighting this game on my channel. So this is the latest update that came out this week. Uh, and it's talking about the automation in Foundry. Uh, so I thought, let's jump in and have a look at this video as well. So we're happy to reveal more details about Foundry. And of course, it should all start with the automation. Today, we will talk about how to use tools at your disposal to get your dream factory working perfectly. We will cover... Um, going from manually moving resources between uh, smelters and assemblers, as well as manually collecting biomass for power to having your machines do the work for you. So let's check out this video. Welcome operator, I'm Carl, your facility management artificial intelligence. In this video, we are going to talk about automation. A crucial part of scaling up your factory from humble beginnings to the size of your dreams. We'll look at conveyor belts and assemblers that will help your preparations for the final stage. The assembly lines. You start out with a drill as your only tool and some good old fashioned manual labour. Try to plan where and how to grow because mining, smelting and crafting can only get you so far. After some expansion, it's time to start automating things. The secret to automation is to use conveyor belts to connect the different machines and choose what you want to produce. The machines will work continuously, but make sure to have the perfect balance between input and output to avoid bottlenecks. 
We do not like bottlenecks. Once you get your factory running smoothly, it is time to start creating science packs. These are used to research new machinery and power new improvements, items, decorations and more. As these become available, you will see a need for new resources, which in part require new methods of extraction and automation. Take the steam turbine, an important and powerful machine. If you build a pipe intake in a body of water and use a pipeline to transport the water into a boiler, you can then power the boiler with the burnable resource Igneum to convert the water into steam, which in turn powers the steam turbine. Your new machine is now producing twice the power of a standard burner. Using the new power, you can continue to expand your factory, process stone into gravel, harness new fuels such as olomite and store it in massive facilities. And as your plans start to come to fruition, it's time to build the final part of your factory. The section that will be the ultimate test of your planning and automation, the assembly lines. What it will look like and how it will all fit together. That is up to your planning and your creativity. Well, well, well. How cool is that? Um, over the coming weeks, they are going to announce more feature highlights for sure. This is just feature highlight number one. Knowing Paradox, they tend to release a new feature highlight every week. Um, whether I will do a video for all of them or just clump them together, I'm not sure. Um, but because this is the first time that I've covered uh, this game on my channel, I thought, let's jump into the first feature highlight. Now, I'm quite a fan. When I play Farming Simulator, for example, I love the production chains. I love the process of inputting and getting an output. Uh, so, this is kind of ticking a few boxes for me, this game. When Early Access comes out, um, that's second of May, I think it was second of May. I, I, after watching that again, maybe I'm a little bit more intrigued. It's funny. I watch so many game videos and so many game trailers, and uh, this one sparks my interest for a few different reasons. It, it, it's kind of like this world that they've built is fascinating. It reminds me of a couple of games like. It's got sort of Fortnite vibes with the way how everything is so rigid and kind of Lego-y. But then being able to break down these um, natural resources. And then when you have a look at these factories that work together in synchronization, making sure that you have the correct input so you don't get those bottlenecks. I love that stuff. Um, so I am intrigued, I'm going to be watching and looking at different feature highlights, check out my channel for more updates, they will be coming and uh, just make sure you press the little notification bell so you know when I release a video and I will break down these feature highlights as much as I possibly can as the details are released to us. Thank you so much for being here. If you've enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Hit that like button. If you haven't done so already, comment below and subscribe to my channel. Most of all, thank you for being here. Bye for now.